A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or as high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. Is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means, with us is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Several years ago, I sat at the end of my bed at three in the morning in tears, frightened and exhausted, as drained and hopeless as I have ever been in this bruised and blessed world. My sister Margaret, who was bipolar, had called me at 3 a.m. in the morning for the third time that week, anxious and restless, crying out for me to help her. I called the emergency room at the hospital and wasn't given any consoling words or helpful advice. I was simply told to bring her in again and we would have to wait for a psychiatrist to see her. I hung up feeling helpless, trying to decide what to do. I sat in my armchair and began to pray the rosary. And suddenly, she spoke to me. I know it was Mary. I have no words with which to tell you how sure I am that it was Mary. Trust me. Let it go, she said. Those words were clear, crisp, and unadorned. I have never had words delivered to me so clearly and powerfully, and yet so gently and patiently. Never. Let it go. I did all the things you would do in that situation. I looked around me. I listened for more words. I waited for her to say something more. She didn't speak again. The words hung in my mind for a long time and then faded. It's hard to explain. It's like they were lit and then the power slowly ebbed. Let it go. She knew how close I was to utter despair and she reached out for me and cupped me in her hands and spoke into me. And I never forgot her voice, and I never will until the day I die. I think about it often. I sometimes hold those words close, and I turn them over and over, and I look at them in every light and from every angle. For more than a year, I told no one about this experience, not even my confreres, whom I love dearly, and who have hearts bigger than a star. But then one day, I told two friends, and I told them because they told me that they had had been spoken to in a moment of great darkness. I suddenly realized that I was not the only favored one that there were three of us who had been consoled. I imagine now there must be millions of us, billions. You know, we say a great deal about Mary, the mother of God. Oh, we speak of her in mass and schools. We write about her in magazines and newspapers and newsletters and bulletins. We speak to friends on the street We talk about her in colleges, on websites, and yet we know nothing of whom we speak. 
All we know is a handful of sto stories from 2,000 years ago, shreds and shards, tattered threads from what must have been even then an unimaginable fabric. Miriam, she was named in the Hebrew, and she lived, married, bore Christ, endured, wept over his icy corpse, and died. When she died, her body rose into the heavens and vanished from earthly view. But I tell you that she spoke to me one winter night in Boston, and her words are burned on my heart as if she had reached down and traced them there at three in the morning. And I cannot explain how her words changed everything, how there was the first part of my life, and now there is the part after Mary spoke to me. Let it go. And I did. And suddenly I was filled with peace. And I kept repeating to myself the words of Julian of Norwich, all will be well, all will be very well. In the car when I picked my sister up as we were driving to the hospital emergency room, I took her hand and I said, Margaret, trust all will be well. It's amazing what happens when you let go and let God. I mean, one minute you're bound in chains and the next minute it feels as if you have wings. My brothers and sisters, this is what I have to say to you. Mary knows. She knows you and she knows me. Trust me when I say that I know this to be true. Whatever else you hear, whatever else you read, whatever else happens in your life, whatever way your heart is bruised and elevated, remember this. Let it go, let it be, and all will be well.